I'm the most pro-Israel governor in America. You think those people like me? They don't like me. Give me a break. One of the first things I did as governor was do Airbnb to BDS and said, you're out of here if you continue with this, and we beat them. Uh, we did our first trade mission that I did was to the state of Israel. And uh, we signed the strongest bill combating anti-Semitism at our universities that any state has been able to do. And I was criticized for doing that. But, but yes, I think part of it is because it's Florida, because it's me, they want to try to create narratives as if somehow this. So what I would say is, you know, don't give the media any oxygen on this stuff. You know, you have some of these bozos out there. These people are fringe of society. They have no following in the state of Florida. We've done, from the time I've been governor, very strong. We've done probably 15 million over my first four years for security for our Jewish day schools, because if they're gonna be targeted, you're, not, you're gonna wish you didn't target them because we're gonna, we're gonna fight back. And we'll keep doing that, but there's real serious attacks uh, on Jews in this country, primarily in the New York City area, where you have attacks based on status happening very frequently. And I think it's a result of the lack of concern with law enforcement generally, but then it's kind of a woke idea that, well, you know, Jews aren't kind of the who we're worried about. We're worried about other uh, other groups more, and that's just a stupid way to view it. Uh, but if you look at all the crimes based on status, it's like over half are against Jews, many of them Orthodox Jews. Very small percentage of the population, uh, but I think our record, you're way better off being in Florida than in the New York area with what's been going on, and we'll continue to be to be very, very strong. But I would push back when they're trying to whip up some type of fake frenzy um, and act like this is represented. I could go to Pensacola, Panhandle, no, very few Jewish people there, and if you talk about moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, you will get a bigger applause there than you will in even Boca Raton. I mean, that's how Florida is. We're very proud of our relationship uh, with the state of Israel, and we're very proud to be the place where, as Ben said, other than Israel, I think we're the number one landing spot for Orthodox Jews in the world right now. Uh, and I'll tell you, when... The, the big migration was going on uh, during COVID. These, you see these people with New York license plates. A lot of our voters were concerned, like, oh my gosh, is it gonna be trying to turn Florida into New York? And I said, listen, I was like, the only thing I know, New York license plates, you know, if they've got the keeper on, they're gonna vote for us 90% of the time. So you should be, you should be rest assured that that's great. One of the other things that